Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys a set of easy and inexpensive gift ideas that you can use to send with your child to school for their teacher. So this also can be used for end of year if you really like the teacher and want to give him or her something special before they start the summer. So um, if you haven't checked out the inexpensive gift idea that I did last week, it was involving a newlywed project. It was back to school for a college student. There was um, some home or housewarming gifts that you guys could use. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link down below in the description box or the cards. You guys can check it out. Really fun and cool and easy and inexpensive ideas in that video. So this week I will be using Arteza Vinyl again because I absolutely love it. And I will also have that link down below in the description box. They cut like butter. Obviously I said that a million times because I love it. So we're going to start out with something cool like a water bottle. So this water bottle I got from Walmart. It's 98 cents. They come in a variety of colors. I think maybe four or five colors I saw these in. Really easy to alter by adding a little bit of vinyl. As you can see, I put teacher at um, on the middle of this particular one because school hasn't started and I don't have a personalized uh, name to put on here yet. But I just used a silhouette file. I'll have everything that I mentioned down below in the description box. But I just have a silhouette file that I used. I used a cute little apple and a leftover heart and I just added it to this water bottle. This is easy, it's inexpensive, and it's very quick if you need something on the go. So a 99 cents plus vinyl and you're good to go. So this is a great starter gift idea for your teacher. The next item I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love buying these. If you guys don't know, I did a uh, coffee mug or altar with my name on it using some uh, resin. So really, really cool. These coffee mugs are dollar because they're from the Dollar Tree. And they start out with silver, um, a silver base. So easy to alter these. All I did was use some painter's tape, painter's tape on the top and the bottom to make sure that I secure the perimeter where people's mouths will be. And I wanted to make sure that I had a contract between the color and the uh, top and bottom of the mug and then I taped it off and I used some Rust-Oleum paint in Robin's Egg Blue. I did two coats of that and then finally I cut out a silhouette file. This one says it takes a big heart to shape little minds in black and they use a little red heart um, that came with the file and super easy to put on so this makes a great gift uh, easy, easy just like the water bottle everybody drinks coffee or tea or even you can put ice water here and secure it so inexpensive these coffee mugs are one dollar at the Dollar Tree and you can find these also pretty cheaply at Walmart the next item I want to share with you is this super cute mason jar apple apple a day teacher get it huh um, pencil jar holder or pens or marker or crayons whatever you want to put in here I think this is so adorable so in the video you you'll see me putting this all together this mason jar came from the Dollar Tree what's cool about it is it already had a black top so I didn't have to do anything the only thing I did was painters tape off the top of the mug so there wouldn't be any problem with screwing this uh, lid back on and then I gave it a couple coats of the Rust-Oleum in candy apple red and it looks super shiny I finished off all of my spray paint projects with a clear matte sealant so it'll keep everything nice and stable and I also baked these in the oven so that it has this really nice soft finish that's a really great tip for when you're doing spray painting and mason jars a little bit goes a long way and then you bake it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350 and then let it cool it's a really cool idea so to finish it off I added a cute little apple that I cut out using my cameo and on the back I stamped two from on here and then I added some foam leaves and a little bit of twine and then you could leave it like that and keep it just like this bare or you can add some stickers and I got these stickers when I did a couple of Ray Dawn projects last year. These cute little stickers from Michaels off Recollections brand. Really cool and it gives you that Ray Dawn vibe. And you know, and if you don't have a silhouette cameo or a cutting machine to cut vinyl, you can also use stickers to personalize your project. This I just put teacher again. I don't have a person, but you can personalize it with their name. Next up is this really fun clipboard. I absolutely love how the clipboard came out. I was trying to figure out something that I could do that didn't require um, any vinyl or didn't require any extra supplies that you'd have to go out and purchase. So if you're a crafter, 
hopefully you have chalk paint on hand um, but this clipboard came from Walmart it's a dollar 47 cents somewhere around there and I use Waverly chalk paint in black satin uh, I believe but it's at Walmart just a little tiny small small jar just a little bit of that and I coated the front and the back with the Waverly chalk paint and um, but the first thing that I did was tape this off with some painters tape you can use masking tape if you don't have that so I uh, taped that off and then I spray painted this with the candy apple red a couple times and then I finished it with some Mac clear sealant and um, so I wanted this to be a difference I want this contrast to be completely different from the chalkboard so once I spray painted um, this I took it off and then I painted the chalkboard black let it dry and if you're having a hard time waiting like I do uh, you can get heat tool chalk paint dries exceptionally quickly but um, you can just tap it with the heat tool what was that you can <laughs> tap it with the heat tool so but I did add a little bit of vinyl down at the bottom this cute little worm with this apple coming out was just so adorable and it did have the feel of the teacher so I wanted to make sure that I added that down there super cute you can even leave this space open to put a personalized name there I did spray all this with some clear sealant so this isn't coming off I added a pen with a little bit of twine and as you can see I did the markers with a chalk uh, marker that I got from Walmart as well again really easy and inexpensive I just use my Cricut mat to guide my lines so I can make sure they are as straight and as neat as possible although my kids were talking about my dashes and how they weren't perfect but I didn't measure those I did measure the line so I think it came out super cute really easy project to do you can even if you don't want to paint it you can even add cardstock to the back or to the front of this your pretty pattern paper um, really cute thing you can alter this if you want with some flowers and things like that but a really fun project to do and to have um, to give to the teacher that you really really like so hopefully you'll try this at home this was really inexpensive and easy to do the next project I want to share with you guys are these really cute little succulents although I have zero green thumb I don't have I don't have a purple thumb I have the worst thumb ever that you can pick for planting I left these out by my lights when I was crafting for a few days and they're all they're not healthy right now but it's still a really great idea so we're gonna roll with it and next time I do it I know what to do so um, what I did was I'm gonna put these down for a quick second so what I did with the succulents is I purchased a jar um, from Michaels you can get these tiny little jars at Michaels they're jelly jars um, they're a dollar and some chain 9 10 15 something like that um, and you can use them as is or if you have some candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree and you use candles we use a lot of candles at home so I just keep the little jars and melt out the candle and add them to a bigger candle so very easy to do you just need to put the candle in some boiling water for a few minutes it melts the candle pour it into another candle make sure you add the wick so that you can use it and then clean out the jar and you have these really cute little tiny jars that you can um, use for your succulents so what I did then was paint uh, tape them off with painters tape give them a coat of the paint and primer in white from Rust-Oleum that I absolutely love to use um, just so that the chalk paint behind it that's coming behind it will stand out and I don't have to do as many coats the chalk paint I got from uh, Walmart they were on clearance the big curry one was a dollar fifty and the tiny red one was I think 50 20 or 55 50 cents so really really good deals they were bright colors for the summer school colors so it worked out perfectly so I just gave it a coat of the chalk paint I let it dry and then I sanded it in between and then I just painted the lid white so that it can have a stark um, difference between the two the contrast between the two colors and I loaded the succulent in now the succulent came from Walmart's um, the plant section in the back it was maybe four bucks and I picked a big one because I really like the colors of that one it, it bloomed beautifully but what I should have done was pick two small ones that way I can plant them separately and I wouldn't have to break the succulent up either way I still think that it is a great idea to give your teacher a plant they can have it sit on their desk all year round and make sure you pick a plant that takes minimal effort so I will put a link down below in the description box for some Pinterest ideas I think it's super cute if you put like a little bubble a speech bubble with either personalization or a note about a teacher um, just like they do like cilantro basil those little garden picks they have in there so I found a couple free printables printables I will leave those down below I didn't want to do that for these but I think it's still a great idea so succulents I give it a thumbs up 
only if you're green. <laughs> Last but not least are these super cute mason jars. I think they are my favorite mason tissue jars. Really, really cool. Again, easy project. Mason jars I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, what's cool about this is I used uh, the Kleenex Perfect Fit. I got them from Target. I didn't find them anywhere else. You get four of them for six dollars, five ninety nine. But it sounds like a lot up front. But if you purchase the Perfect Fit for six dollars and then purchase four um, one dollar mason jars, it will come out to ten bucks. So each project, each jar will only cost you two dollars and fifty cents. You can give four people a bless you jar. So this uh, file says bless your heart and I got it from the Silhouette Cameo store. I'll put the link down, ID down below in the description box and I just painted them. Put them in the oven for again for 30 minutes on 350 and make sure to make sure that this um, this mason jar this mason jar is really smooth there's no blumps or bumps i just really love how that turns out it's a little bit more work um or patience maybe because you're really just spray painting them and putting them in the oven but um you have to wait 30 minutes for them to cure but it's it, it's worth it so there's a little lid on top of the perfect fit that you want to take off and remove and put it on top of in between the lid and the top so that it'll have that little plastic feel of a um tissue box but works it works for me super cool fun idea to give to your teacher or anyone or co-worker this will work for everything so i love this little sentiment and again if you don't have a file to cut out um vinyl then you can use stickers and personalize it um or stencil or you know just do something fun you can decoupage a mason jar so really really cool idea so mason jars super super cute so that's it guys. I hope you like the five inexpensive gift ideas that I share with you to give to your student's teacher this fall. It's time to get prepared to work on those fall projects for those awesome teachers that do such a great job handling our kids during the work day. I know it's a lot of work and it takes a lot. So we appreciate you. I appreciate you. So every year I do try to find the teachers or special teachers to give gifts to for my kids. Now one kid left <laughs> to do um, give them something special. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Be sure to like this video, share it, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. And as I stated previously, everything that I mentioned will be listed below in the description box. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.